What's going on everyone? Steven here from TechMaker.tv. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a gem called Impressionist, and we're going to use it to set up page tracking internally within our blogging application. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I also need to mention that this video, I think, is actually part 8 in a longer series where we build out a blog application from scratch. If you want to see that, feel free to check that out over on www.techmaker.tv. With all that said, let's jump into the code. All right, so let's jump back over into our code. Got my server running. We'll need to stop that in a second. Let's open up our gem file. And in the gem file, I'm just going to add a gem called Impressionist. And then we'll go back to our server, stop the server, and then bundle install. And this may take just a second, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm actually going to run bundle update impressionist just to be sure I have the latest version because I think that um, Rails 6 requires a newer version. It looks like um, might have been fine. Anyway, so the next thing we need to do is run, let me actually zoom in just a little bit on this. So we need to run Rails G impressionist. And this is going to create some database migrations for tracking our... Uh, view counts and so on. You can see here we have this impressions table that get, gets added. Uh, next we can just run Rails DB migrate. And once this is finished we will start our server back up, jump back over into the code and start tracking views. Okay so let's go back over to our code and let's open up our post controller I believe is what it is and we want to just look at the readers post controller so what we want to do is after we load the post here we want to say impressionist and then just pass in that post and basically what this is going to do is just trigger this to create an impression uh, for this post once we have this to make our post able to respond to this essentially what we need to do is go to our post class and then at the top, we can put this maybe just under the friendly ID. We'll say is impressionable, like that. Make sure we save that and then we spelled it correctly. I think we did. Let's go back over to our browser now and refresh. And then I'm just going to click on a post. And let's just refresh this a few times. And then let's go over to our terminal. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here. And I'm going to run my Rails console. So let's look and see, like post, it's one of the published posts, right? So it's post.published first, maybe. Um, I think it's going to be the second one now that I'm seeing that title. Yeah, I think it's that one. So we'll say post equals underscore, which is a cool trick to set this variable equal to whatever the last thing that was returned is. Then we can say post.impressions count undefined method impressions count impressionist count there we go I knew it was something like that okay so we've had four views let's go back and refresh this a couple more times and just have a look and you can see that it's counting so obviously we might be interested in this and that's sort of the raw data we might want to see the um, like unique visitors so we could do something like filter IP address and you'll see that there we've only had the one and that's because obviously that's me so we can pass other types of queries in here as well so we could do like um, start date and then like uh, one dot day dot ago end date uh, let's see one dot day dot from now and you'll see that we get the uh, six back. So, you know, we probably want to add some queries where we can look at, you know, the total number of unique views yesterday or something like that. So we could say filter IP address in here as well. So what we're going to do is I'm, this is going to be it for this episode. It's going to be pretty quick uh, for once. Um, but anyway, so in the next episode, what I'm going to do is actually build out a little user interface where we can see um, a chart of basically what you might see in like Google Analytics, so how many unique views we get day by day. 
I haven't fully finished designing it or anything yet, but I think it's going to have the unique views maybe for like the last seven days, every day on a chart, and then maybe maybe actually a comparison from like a total view. So you'll see unique versus total and so on and so forth. Um, you know, it's, over time maybe we'll add more features like how to see returning visitors and some of the other things you can do in Google. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll get into that as we go, um, one step at a time. So. Anyway, that's it for me for today, so thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you like this type of content and want more of it, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and hit the like. All those things help me out tremendously, and it'll help you out too, because you'll get great content all the time. Alright, that's it. I'll talk to you in the next episode.